Hey everyone, today we're counting down the top 15 most insane billionaire homes. So these residents range from sprawling estates with their own parks and wildlife reserves to high-tech palaces equipped with advanced security systems and underground bunkers. Let's start with home number 15, Antilia. So Antilia, the crown jewel of Mumbai's Altamount Road, stands as a testament to unparalleled luxury. It's home to Mukesh Ambani, chairman of Reliance Industries. This iconic residence is estimated to be one of the most expensive properties globally, second only to Buckingham Palace. With a price tag of one to two billion dollars, Antilia has captured attention worldwide. Designed by renowned architects Perkins and Will, in collaboration with Leighton Holdings, Antilia spans a colossal 400,000 square feet across its 27 floors, each having towering ceilings akin to a standard two-story building. Notably, the building is engineered to withstand seismic activity capable of enduring quakes up to eight on the Richter scale. Drawing inspiration from the lotus and the sun, its architectural design exudes elegance. Its uppermost six floors are dedicated entirely to private residential space, which offers lavish amenities such as a temple, guest suites, a salon, an ice cream parlor, and a private cinema accommodating up to 50 people. And reflecting Ambani's affinity for luxury vehicles, it's got an entire floor dedicated to parking, capable of holding 168 cars, including his five Maybox. To combat the heat in Mumbai, this building has a unique snow room, providing respite with its artificial snow. Meanwhile, nine high-speed elevators whisk residents swiftly throughout the building, enhancing its accessibility and its comfort at the same time. Number 14, Villa Leopolda. Initially drawn to the allure of the Côte d'Azur, King Leopold of Belgium acquired 18 hectares of land, eventually transforming it into staff quarters known as Leopolda. Collaborating with an architect, Leopolda expanded the estate by purchasing the adjacent Villa Saint-Sagon in 1903, which necessitated the construction of a connecting tower to unite the properties separated by Avenue Leopold II. Following his passing in 1915, Leopolda transitioned into a temporary hospital for wounded soldiers during World War I, overseen by his successor, Albert I, who was commissioned an additional dormitory building within the park. Post-war, Albert I divested all his Riviera properties. In 1919, Leopolda found new ownership under Countess Teresa de Beauchamp, who revived the neglected gardens with thousands of olive, lemon, and orange trees. Aaron Messiah assisted his son, undertook a comprehensive modernization of the villa's Mediterranean aesthetic, eliminating the bell tower and expanding the main structure. In 1929, American architect Ogden Codman acquired the estate, infusing it with dramatic alterations reflective of his European architectural studies. His vision included two wings, a Roman-inspired south facade, expansive terraces, and a vast swimming pool. Internally, the villa underwent significant redesigning, with a grand stone staircase reminiscent of Chateau Borelli in Marseille, adorning the entrance hall. It was subsequently owned by Giovanni Agnelli of Fiat in the post-World War II era. Leopolda became a backdrop for cinematic productions, including scenes from Michael Powell's Red Shoes in 1947. Number 13, The One. After enduring a lengthy journey plagued by logistical and legal hurdles, the One Mega Mansion in Bel Air has found its new owner. The insane 105,000 square foot estate, a decade plus endeavor by developer Niall Niami and architect Paul McLean, went under the hammer on March 3rd, fetching $126 million in a concierge auction sale, inclusive of a 12% buyer premium. Must be nice. Although falling short of its initial listing price of $500 million, the sale sets a record as California's most expensive auctioned property. Situated atop a commanding hill, the mansion has unrivaled 360-degree views of the cityscape. It epitomizes the pinnacle of luxury living. With 21 bedrooms, the property also has a 30-car underground garage, a gym, lap pool, bowling alley, and a movie theater, of course. The primary bedroom alone spans over 5,000 square feet, while a separate 4,500 square foot guest house accommodates visitors. Outdoor amenities includes infinity pools encircling the main structure and a sprawling roof deck. A private nightclub adds to the allure of this building, reminiscent of a grand estate philanthropy wings. However, the journey to completion is not yet over for the new owner, Richard Zahagian, CEO of Fashion Nova. Further construction is estimated at $20 million, and obtaining a certificate of occupancy are still pending. Despite its grandeur, the one may not be everyone's ideal home, but for those it resonates with, it represents the epitome of luxurious living. Number 12, 4 Fairfield Pond. 
Ira Rennert, CEO and chairman of Renko Group, an all-around billionaire, is the lucky owner of Four Fairfield Pond, an Italian Renaissance-style home in the Hamptons. There's no denying that the Hamptons is one of the wealthiest and most extravagant locations in the United States, but Four Fairfield Pond really puts the neighbors to shame. This palatial home sits on 63 acres of beachfront property that he can enjoy all to himself. But the mansion is an insane 62,000 square feet with 29 bedrooms, so the man can sleep in just a new room every night for a month. 39 bathrooms and what mansion would be complete without a 91-foot ceiling dining room. It really does sound more like a banquet hall, if anything else. Well, hopefully for his guest, Ira Renard knows how to throw a party. And I'm sure any kids lucky enough to step foot inside this home will love a good game of never-ending hide-and-seek. But when folks want to have a little fun, there's the bowling alley, squash courts, tennis courts, three swimming pools, a basketball court, and the icing on the cake, the garage that can hold up to 100 cars. And all this can be yours for the price of only $248 million. Number 11. The Manor The Manor, also known as Spelling Manor, can be found in LA's Holmby Hills. Now, this place is wild. It was constructed in 1988 for television producer Aaron Spelling. This mansion is the second largest residence in the LA metropolitan area. It was initially owned by the Spelling family. It later found its way into the hands of British heiress Petra Eccleston, daughter of Formula One racing magnate Bernie Eccleston. Now, Eccleston's acquisition of the property in 2011 at a price of $85 million marked a significant chapter in its history. Originally listed for $150 million, the manor held the title of the most expensive residential real estate listing in the U.S. at the time. In June 2019, it fetched a staggering $119 million, setting a new record as the highest residential sale in California's history. Its inception traces back to the Spellings purchase of the former Bing Crosby estate in 1983, followed by the meticulous construction process that happened in 1986. Spanning over 56,000 square feet, this French chateau-style mansion has 123 rooms, including 27 bathrooms and 14 bedrooms, spread across five acres of land. Originally equipped with an array of lavish amenities such as a screening room, a gym, bowling alley, and a tennis court, the manor epitomizes luxury living at its finest. Despite the initial listing price of $200 million, the manor eventually sold for $120 million to Canadian multi-billionaire Daryl Katz in 2019. Subsequent to several price adjustments, it remains on the market as of 2023. It was listed at $155 million, awaiting a discerning buyer to call it home and clear out their bank account in the process. Number 10. Updown Court Updown Court is the epitome of Californian luxury. Only, it's not in California. It's in the village of Windlesham, Surrey, England. This sprawling estate has 58 acres of meticulously landscaped gardens, making it a veritable sanctuary of tranquility. Back in 2005, it made waves as the most expensive private residence globally, commanding a staggering price tag of over $138 million during its listing with the Savills and Hamptons International. The origin dates back to 1924, when the original structure was erected in the Queen Anne style. This first iteration had eight bedrooms, four sitting rooms, and a single swimming pool nestled within 12 acres of grounds. Notable inhabitants include Major General Sir Philip Ward and his family, who graciously opened their gardens to the public, allowing them to revel in the splendor of the woodlands and roses. Tragedy struck in October 1987 when the Great Storm ravaged the property, resulting in a devastating fire that raised the house to the ground. Despite valiant efforts by the Surrey Fire and Rescue Service, hindered by fallen trees blocking access, the mansion was lost to flames. However, from the ashes emerged a phoenix in the form of a redevelopment spearheaded by Heatherside Property Holdings in the 1990s. Under the guidance of consult engineer Anthony Pierce and architect John B. Scholes, Updown Court underwent a transformation, heralding its rebirth as a beacon of luxury living. Today, the estate has an array of unparalleled amenities across its 103 rooms, including 24 bedrooms, each with marble ensuite bathrooms. Additional features such as a squash court, floodlit tennis court, and a wine cellar capable of housing 3,000 bottles elevate this estate to new heights of wealth. Number 9. Bezos's Billionaire Bunker Jeff Bezos, the renowned Amazon founder and one of the wealthiest guys globally, has expanded his real estate portfolio with the acquisition of a $79 million mansion in Florida's exclusive enclave known as the Billionaire Bunker. This purchase comes hot on the heels of his recent acquisition of the neighboring property for $68 million, demonstrating his desire for living in the lap of luxury. 
Situated on Indian Creek Island, a prestigious man-made barrier isle nestled on the outskirts of Biscayne Bay, this newly acquired mansion spans an impressive 19,000 square feet and sits on 1.8 acres of prime real estate. Having seven bedrooms, 14 bathrooms, and a plethora of luxurious amenities including a pool, theater, library, wine cellar, sauna, and six-car garage, the estate epitomizes extravagance and sophistication. Now, notably, Indian Creek Island is known for its exclusivity, with only about 40 waterfront properties on its shores, along with an 18-hole golf course sprawled across 294 acres. Among its elite residents are luminaries such as Tom Brady, Ivanka Trump, and Norman Bremen, further solidifying its status. This is the latest acquisition in his real estate holdings, which include a sprawling estate in Medina, Washington, having a Tudor-style mansion, office space, and extensive recreational amenities, and additionally his $165 million mansion in Beverly Hills, complete with lush gardens and a pond, reflect his affinity for lavish living. The only question is, can Amazon do two-day shipping to the billionaire bunker? Number 8. The Bugatti Penthouse Bugatti is making waves in the real estate scene with its inaugural venture into branded residences in Dubai, UAE, in collaboration with Emirati developer Binghadi. It's nestled in the business bay area. The Bugatti Residences by Binghadi promises to infuse the essence of the French Riviera into the bustling cityscape, offering a lifestyle reminiscent of the Mediterranean coast. The architectural marvels will feature 171 Riviera mansions and 11 Sky Mansion penthouses, meticulously crafted to reflect opulence. Residents can expect to bask in the exclusivity of an elite members only club, complemented by an array of extravagant amenities tailored to discerning tastes. Stepping into the gold-hued foyer adorned with intricate lighting and soaring glass walls, residents will be greeted by a sense of grandeur that permeates through this building. Ascending floors reveal a Riviera-inspired beach oasis, and condominiums offering views of the iconic Burj Khalifa from private balconies. The interiors will embody understated French luxury, characterized by a subtle palette and sleek furnishings that epitomize refined elegance. Now, beyond lavish living spaces, the tower is going to have an array of exceptional amenities, including a private pool, a spa, fitness club, and a chef's table, catering to residents' every desire. Additional services, such as a private valet, chauffeur, and concierge, will further enhance the high-flying lifestyle of the Bugatti residences. We're living on a planet where a place called Ferrari World exists, so it should come as no surprise that Bugatti is trying something new as well, both of which, of course, can only be found in the United Arab Emirates. Moving on to number 7, Castillo Caribe. Castillo Caribe, aptly nicknamed the Caribbean Castle, stands as a testament to opulence on Grand Cayman South Sound. This oceanfront mega mansion owned by British former futures trader Jerry Beck exudes grandeur from every corner. With its staggering 48,000 square feet of living space and a show-stopping 5,000 square foot great room. The great room, adorned with twin carved mahogany staircases and an intricate wooden ceiling, serves as the heart of this palatial residence. The mansion has eight ensuite bedrooms, including two lavish master suites, along with a plethora of amenities to indulge in, from a Moroccan-inspired sports bar and a movie theater to his and her offices and a 400-bottle wine room, no luxury here has been spared. The basement, spanning over 4,000 square feet, houses a kid's fun room, a spa with a gym and massage room, and a fairy tale like grotto with a bubbling hot tub. Outside, the estate unfolds like a private paradise, with 250 feet of palm fringe sandy beachfront, a pro sized tennis court, a cricket pitch, and various other recreational facilities. It's designed by renowned architect John Doak to withstand hurricanes. This mansion's got hurricane-resistant features, including a ground floor elevated over 14 feet above sea level and a 9-foot high seawall. Furthermore, the property benefits from the Cayman Islands tax-free status, offering a compelling incentive for prospective buyers seeking a luxurious lifestyle without the burden of local taxes. Despite its allure, though, Castillo Caribe has lingered on the market since 2010, initially listed at 59.5 million bucks. However, with a recent price reduction to 49.9 million bucks and a thriving property market fueled by the pandemic, the estate may soon find a lucky new owner on the hunt for a solid multi-million dollar deal. Time will tell. Number 6. Xanadu 2.0 as speculation swirled regarding the potential ramifications of Melinda and Bill Gates' divorce across various industries, attention inevitably turns to their iconic lakefront estate nestled in the Seattle suburbs. Valued at over $131 million, the estate, known as Xanadu 2.0, stands as a testament to the couple's immense wealth and influence. 
Yet beyond its monetary value, the estate holds a mystique that has captured imaginations, prompting questions about its future and the possibility of a rare glimpse inside its halls. Perched along the shores of Lake Washington, Xanadu 2.0 is a sprawling complex that exudes opulence. It's got an impressive array of amenities, including a 60-foot pool, a spa, and a gym adorned with stone from the Pacific Northwest. Now, despite its secluded nature, occasional glimpses into the estate have fueled intrigue and fascination among those curious to unravel it. One such glimpse came from an intern for Microsoft who described the mansion as constructed with Douglas fir and embellished with sand imported from Hawaii, evoking a sense of exotic luxury. For Melinda Gates, however, the mansion elicited a complex mix of emotions, prompting what she described as a quote-unquote mini-personal crisis. Well, construction of Xanadu 2.0 had commenced prior to her arrival, reflecting Bill Gates' bachelor lifestyle and technocentric vision. Nevertheless, Melinda sought to leave her mark on the estate, enlisting the expertise of interior designer Terry Despont to imbue the space with a more family-oriented ambiance. Bill Gates, meanwhile, harbored ambitious plans for Xanadu 2.0, envisioning it as a smart home ahead of its time. His futuristic vision included sensor-equipped badges that would dynamically adjust to lights, music, and temperature as guests move throughout the premises, and additionally, Gates aimed to digitize artworks for display on video screens, adorning the walls, blurring the lines between art and technology. Number 5. Tranquility Situated at 300 State Route 28 in Crystal Bay, Nevada, Tranquility is an extraordinary lakefront compound fit for a Bond villain. With its custom design seamlessly integrated into the natural contours of the land, Crystal Point spans an impressive 16,000 square feet and has an array of amenities that epitomize refined living. As you approach Crystal Point, you're greeted by a lush garden sanctuary adorned with stunning water features. The main residence is a masterpiece of architectural brilliance, featuring floor-to-ceiling windows that frame the expansive views of Lake Tahoe. Every aspect has been meticulously curated to offer the utmost in luxury living. The main kitchen is a culinary enthusiast's dream, outfitted with state-of-the-art appliances, custom cabinetry, and exquisite countertops. The master suite is a sanctuary of privacy and tranquility, featuring soaring ceilings, a cozy fireplace, and panoramic views of the landscape. The master bathroom is another study in luxury with a spacious steam shower, jacuzzi tub, and fiber optic etched glass that illuminates at night, creating a soothing ambiance. Entertainment here, with a billiards room inspired by an old English pub complete with a sunken bar, vintage slot machine, and hand-painted toe line for darts, the movie theater also offers a cinematic experience like no other, with Egyptian silk-lined walls and a custom-made ceiling designed for optimal acoustics. Outside, sprawling grounds beckon with their beauty, while the beach house provides the perfect setting for lakeside gatherings and entertainment. With retractable glass doors that seamlessly blend indoor and outdoor living, the beach house epitomizes the quintessential Lake Tahoe experience. Number 4. The Penthouse at 432 Park Avenue Standing tall amidst the towering skyscrapers of New York City Billionaire's Row, the top-floor penthouse at 432 Park Avenue stands as a symbol of luxury and sophistication. With a staggering listing price of $169 million, this residence is the epitome of high-end living in the heart of Manhattan. The penthouse offers a sprawling 8,200 square feet of living space, commanding breathtaking views of Central Park and the city skyline. It's got 24 expansive windows that bathe the interiors in natural light. Step inside and you're greeted by an interior designed by developer Andrew Cohen. From herringbone white oak floors to marble kitchen countertops and backsplashes, every detail exudes elegance. The primary suite is a sanctuary of luxury featuring two walk-in closets and two separate bathrooms, each adorned with floating tubs that overlook the cityscape. But it's not just the lavish interiors that make this penthouse a coveted gem. The $169 million price tag also includes a collection of designer furniture, including pieces from Hermes, Fendi, and Bentley, as well as a custom piano engraved with Penthouse 96. Developer Andrew Cohen spared no expense in ensuring that every aspect of this residence exudes sophistication. However, prospective buyers should be aware of the building's recent engineering issues, which have raised concerns about structural integrity and maintenance. Despite being perched on the 96th floor, residents may still be susceptible to potential issues such as leaks and other maintenance issues. Nevertheless, the amenities package in the building is unparalleled, with 30,000 square feet of amenity space including a private restaurant, 75-foot pool, fitness center, and outdoor terrace, residents can indulge in a lifestyle of luxury and convenience. 
While the price tag may seem a bit high to some, it's important to remember that this penthouse represents more than just a residence. It's a statement of wealth, power, and prestige. And it's one of the most exclusive addresses in Manhattan. It offers a lifestyle reserved for the elite few who demand nothing but the best. Ah, what it would be like to be a billionaire. Number 3. Ellison Estate Taking up some serious real estate in the esteemed neighborhood of Silicon Valley, 890 Mountain Road in Woodside, California, unveils a newly constructed Italian-style estate spread across 3.3 acres. Crafted by an undisclosed developer with a track record of luxury residences catering to the local ultra-high net worth individuals, this project distinguishes itself by its prime location on Billionaire's Row. Notably, renowned tech luminaries such as Larry Ellison, Masa San call this area home alongside founders of major companies like Apple, Google, and Facebook. The listing agent, Scott Dancer, from Compass sheds light on the allure of this locale, where visionary entrepreneurs seek refuge from the demanding rigors of their professional lives. This property serves as a solution crafted to meet the discerning tastes of billionaire clientele. This estate has a plethora of amenities and ample entertainment spaces, comprising multiple structures including a main residence with five bedrooms and a detached guest house. The property caters to comfort and privacy. Additional highlights include a 1,000 square foot fitness center complete with a yoga terrace, hair salon, massage room, and executive office with a conference center. Crystal chandeliers illuminate the foyer, complementing limestone floors and hand-plastered walls. A grand marble staircase adorned with starfire glass panels ascends to the second floor, overlooking a custom-made Italian chandelier. The culinary enthusiasts out there will appreciate the dual kitchens equipped with top-of-the-line appliances, but the estate also features a 6,000-bottle wine cellar, a screening room, and a golf simulator for your leisurely pursuits. Outdoor amenities rival the interior in extravagance featuring a 50-foot reflecting pool, a 65-foot infinity-edge saltwater pool, and a spa adorned with iridescent glass mosaic Italian tiles. The landscaped grounds have roses, Tuscan olive trees, and an amphitheater lawn, providing a serene escape for everyone. Completing the outdoor oasis are a gas fire pit, barbecue, pizza oven, and of course, a private hiking trail. Number 2. Palazzo di Amore at the very corner of elegance and sophistication stands the magnificent Palazzo di Amore, a modern castle in every sense of the word. Listed by Beverly Hills power agent Joyce Ray with Coldwell Banker Residential Brokerage, this unparalleled estate is the masterpiece of renowned developer Mohammed Hadid, with architecture by Bob Ray Offenhauser and designed by Alberto Pinto. Nestled on approximately 25 acres, it has amazing views of both canyons and a city skyline. As you approach the estate through three sets of grand double gates, a serene drive lined with trees and vineyards leads you to the entrance. Upon stepping inside the 12-bedroom, 23-bathroom palace, one is immediately enveloped in an aura of elegance and sophistication. Adjacent to the dining room, a 3,000-bottle wine cellar offers the perfect setting for hosting wine tastings of the estate's private label, of course. One of the highlights here is undoubtedly the Grand Chef's Kitchen, equipped with every imaginable appliance and amenity, including a commercial walk-in refrigerator. The second level of Palazzo di Amore features two bedroom wings, each offering luxurious amenities and indulgences. An expansive master suite spans over 5,000 square feet and includes a stunning fireplace, his and her baths, and dual walk in dressing rooms. The Turkish style spa, adorned with iridescent Moroccan tiles and Turkish lamps, provides a tranquil retreat for relaxation. Outside, the estate transforms into a luxury playground, having a private vineyard, tennis court, and a 128-foot reflecting pool and fountain. The pièce de résistance is the 15,000-square-foot entertainment complex, complete with state-of-the-art DJ booth, tune-laden bowling alley, and Hollywood-worthy theater. This place is absolutely insane, and every little detail has been executed to pompous perfection, all located just two miles above the illustrious Beverly Hills Hotel. Number 1. The Odeon Tower Penthouse In Monaco, the real estate market operates under unique conditions due to its status as a tax haven. Properties in the principality hold significant monetary value, largely attributed to favorable tax regulations. To become a resident and invest in Monaco's real estate, individuals must commit to full-time residency, a requirement commonly fulfilled by international figures such as athletes and former F1 driver Jensen Button. Notably, American citizens face restrictions unless they renounce their citizenship. Demand for luxury properties here exceed $10 million, primarily comes from Asian and Eastern European buyers, particularly Chinese, Indian, and Russian investors. 
One notable development in Monaco's real estate landscape is La Torre Odeon, a 49-story tower constructed by Gruppe Marsico. This tower stands as the principality's tallest building, featuring various upscale apartments, including a five-story penthouse. Marketed at approximately $335 million, the penthouse exemplifies extravagant offerings. While serious offers may have been considered, the penthouse remains available for purchase, showcasing developers' confidence in the robustness of Europe's luxury market, despite prevailing socioeconomic challenges. Spanning 31,000 square feet across the 45th to 49th floors, the penthouse has opulent amenities, including a rooftop deck with a pool and a water slide connecting to an infinity pool on the floor below. Despite its price tag, the penthouse reflects the enduring appeal of luxury real estate in Monaco, where approximately 1 million bucks buys less than 90 square feet of space. The construction of the tower signifies a departure from Monaco's traditional low-rise architecture, necessitated by the limited land area and increasing demand for upscale accommodations. Historically, Monaco imposed restrictions on building heights following a surge in luxury developments during the 70s and 80s, and plans for expansion into the sea were shelved in 2008 amid the global financial crisis, leaving vertical construction as the sole viable option for accommodating the influx of investment capital. Thanks everyone for watching, I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you to our channel members.